Good morning, everybody. It's good to see you. As human beings, we're part of the mammal kingdom, and one of the most important things is to be connected. And we tend to live in London and in Britain in isolated units. So this is a space of feeling connected to hopefully feeling safe, connected in a group with a common purpose to feel um, a sense of both being with others in oneness and being with ourselves, gathering all the aspects of our aging selves um, back to the one. So the focus today is going to be on uh, both being very tiny as tiny atoms. We're just made up of atoms and molecules and energy which is congregated in a body. And when we die, the energy is released and it, no, we no longer have this physical form. So it's living well within the bodies we've been given and the challenges that they give us as we grow older and to be at peace with that. So welcome to this class. And so let us settle down, just coming into your own presence, feeling your body. If you're sitting on the floor, just sitting comfortably cross-legged. If you're sitting on a chair, just sitting with your feet flat on the ground. As Kabod Zinn says, dropping down into your body. This is the combination of all these uh, atoms and molecules that is manifest here on earth at this time in this part of history, allowing ourselves to be embodied. So much of Western medicine is about being disembodied, just looking at parts and bits and pieces, looking at algorithms of outcomes. Everything is based on this computer science, not everything, but a lot of the dominant belief of which is binary, which is either or, either or. So today, just coming down into the both and, I am both physical and mental, and I'm a bundle of nerves in a whole nervous system that's throbbing, and I'm part of the universe, and part of a tribe, and I live here, in this body, on earth at this time, just dropping down into being, being present to your body, becoming embodied rather than disembodied. So if you do nothing else in those 50 minutes, then feel into your body, you've done a lot of work. So we hold our hands in prayer mudra, feeling into coming away from uh, the automatic numbness into the feeling of the hands. Are they cold? Are they warm? Can you feel them push together? Are your shoulders up and tight? Just notice. As you notice, allow them to release. Feeling your hands right and tucked in at the heart center the place where all is known. The heart holds so much more memory than the brain does. Feeling into the gut, that's another whole brain within the gut. Into your breath now, feeling into your breath and as we focus on each part of our anatomy, feeling all the time the central energy being pushed together at the hands. Always between lefts and rights. Allowing your breath to come and go. And breathing in a bit more deeply right down into the belly and then releasing 
a full yogic breath out. Gently closing your eyes, softening down, trusting yourself that this time you will receive what you need, which will be different from someone else. Long, deep breaths. Feeling now into the rest of your torso, into your, how you're sitting. Do you feel the weight of your bottom on the floor or on a seat? Are you able to trust that the earth is holding you? It always has held you. Being in time and space. Feeling completely now associated with each part of your body. We're going to tune in to Ong Namo Gurudev Namo three times. The sound current of the Ong. You feel it in the back of your throat. Namo, you'll feel it in the nasal. Sounds like a music lesson, this. Gurudev, you'll feel it here. Gurudev Namo. Three times, feeling the vibrations. Um, and we know in polyvagal theory that it's the voice combined with our facial features and softness that holds a sense of well being. So, breathing in to begin. Oh. Um. Guru Dev Namo Ah Namo Guru Dev Namo Ah Namo Guru Dev Namo. Breathe in. Just hold the stillness of being for a moment. The more relaxed we are, the more we can hold our breath. But strangely, sometimes we just hold our breath because we're not relaxed and we tense. Notice the difference and release. And coming into a comfortable seated posture. We're going to do some pranayam, some breath exercise. So as we do it, we're going to breathe in with one hand on the floor or the bench, breathing in, sweeping round through our magnetic field to the top, Feeling the stretch and then breathing out as you go over. Breathing back in to the top. And breathing out as you go down. If you can, just close your eyes, go into your own space, but notice what's happening in your body. Satana 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 Being just on the one side. Deepen your breath. Satana 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 Truth is my identity. Feel it in your hands. Stay very sensitive to each movement. Satana, 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 Satana. Sat 
It's moving, supporting you. Satana, 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 Satana. Satana. And coming back to the center, fingers in hands in Gyan Mudra. Notice how your magnetic field, everything around you is stretched, the intercostal muscles along your sides. Notice. Notice how your breath is. Take a mindful moment, shoulders down and back. Place your tongue to the roof of your mouth. Eyes closed, looking up to your brow point, pulling the optic nerves together, feeling your bottom grounded on the earth. Sitting within the bubble that you've just created of holding your space. And for a few moments, we'll continue with the Satanam. Keeping that mantra, Satana, in your heart and mind. Satana, Satana, Satana. Long, deep breaths, right to the base of the belly. Hold it when you have a full breath. Slowly release it. Slowing down your heart rate, calming your nervous system. Satana, Satana. Notice where you're tense. See if you can release it. Satana. Satana, 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 Satana. Satana. Coming back now, putting your hands on your shins or on your knees if you're sitting. And we're going to do some spinal flexes. So spinal flex is done with putting your hands on your shins, breathing in, stretching your shoulders back and you caving your back in, feeling the stretch, and then releasing and slumping down to your worst posture on the out breath. Everything is done on the breath, breathing in, Feeling the stretch, there's no hurry with the movement. You can do it fast or slow. What we're doing is we're activating all the energy channels going up and down the spine. The idea of yoga is that we can get the body in full alignment so that we can sit quietly in a meditative state and have clarity of mind rather than being clouded by fear and thoughts 
and a nervous system that's going haywire. So feeling into the nervous system of this body that we've been given. Using your breath, allowing your mind and your thoughts to follow the breath. Using the nose to breathe if you can. Using your shoulders, engaging the whole of the spine. All our energies are going up and down to the brain through the spine and the nervous system. And this is true from the very earliest of the creatures from billions and millions of years ago. We have that primitive nervous system within us. And we're calming it. We're releasing it through this simple movement. Bringing your hands up now to your knees if you're seated to get a bit more stretch. Feeling into your sitting bones and how they are holding us firm. One day we will return from this physical form back to the dust. And as we live on earth, so let us live in a way that is deeply honoring to both ourselves and others. But unless like a frightened animal, we can be calm in our nervous system, them. We tend to bite or retreat with fear back into corners, or we find ourselves being defensive. These are all reactions of the nervous system. Calming the nervous system in this rocking motion. Now bringing our hands further up, we're going to hold our hands on our shoulders Moving now this way and that way, breathing into the left and out to the right. Let your head just go with your shoulders. You're feeling it now right into the chest region. Dropping down in your body, letting the lower part of your body, we call it the lower triangle, hold you. Activating your lungs and your heart. Feel it a bit like a steam engine. Dropping your shoulders down, noticing when they get tense. Softening your face. Just going with the movement. Last few seconds. And come to the center. Holding your hands still on your shoulders, you're going to do a root lock, which is holding, take a breath in, hold your breath, tighten your bottom muscles so you're not leaking energy down, tighten your tummy muscles, your navel point, drawing the energy up the spine, just pulling it up like xylem and phloem going up and release down. And spend a moment relaxed, noticing what's happening in your nervous system. The whole idea is finding a safe enough space within your own body where we cannot, we don't have to be reactive, but we can speak truth with clarity and love. And we're employing each part of our body to do this. Observe your body. 
bringing each atom, every part of you back to support you as you face the challenging days that we are living in. See if you can hear your heart beating, the nervous system, which is going all the way up your spine, and then activating our major glands in our brain, say the pituitary, which will release hormones according to stress or rest. Feeling into the depth of the breath, the digestive system, when we're tense, we get a lot of digestive problems. Relaxing down and trusting your body that even as we age, we can live very well. Now bringing our hands under, thumbs under our armpits, we're just going to work our lymph glands. Hands over the chest. And we'll just go do some chicken fucking. Pressing down on the, on the nodes, both under the arms, and, and activating the meridians in the lungs, the rib cage. And as you do it, allow your breath to, as your as your arms hit coming out, so it becomes what we call a breath of fire or a, a, a dragon breath. You're breathing out quite forcefully as your arms go down, always coordinating breath with movement. Again, don't use anything you don't need to use. I find my shoulders get tense, drop your shoulders. each part of us to live as well as we possibly can. Last 20 seconds. And release the posture. Take a mindful moment to notice how your body is sitting, dropping your shoulders, feeling the oxygen right into the lungs. The exchanges going on, the intricate exchanges in our bodies as they've evolved over millions of years to become who we are. Feeling your breath in your body. Softening down, trusting that this lower triangle, which is all our basic needs, is stable. Our needs can be met. Now lifting your shoulders up. Take a breath in, tense the whole body, feeling everything tense from your hands to your shoulders to your face in a kind of dysregulated state. Hold your breath, tighten everything and release down. And again, take a breath in, tighten, grimace, grin and bear it. This is the state we live in so much. And release. And last time, breathing in, tighten, really make it as tense as you can. Hold it, shake, and release. And notice the change as we accentuate the tension to the relaxation. 
It's the pulsing of life, tensing and releasing. The heart is doing it the whole time. The intestine is doing it all the time. Always between tension and relaxing. New growth and letting go. New cells developing and the old are dying. Just stay with your body. Now begin to roll your head, nice big circles, releasing tension from the neck, the voice box. When we're well regulated, our voice is soft, gentle, our face is smiling, allowing people space to be. We see others when we're relaxed. So relaxing all the facial muscles, doing really big circles, dropping the shoulders. I'm going to continue with that Satanam. Truth is my identity that we were created to be present, non anxious beings living the best life on earth in the face of a lot of challenges. Nice big circles. This is who I am, the Satana. And change directions. Change directions with your head. as if you've got a string on the top of your head, spine straight, shoulders back, feel the balance of your body, the flow of being. Now placing your hands behind your back in a grip, hand grip, pulling your shoulders back, opening the heart center, feeling the stretch across your shoulders. And if you're able, come down with your hands coming up in 
in um, yoga mudra. And then coming back up again. Slowly, meaningfully, opening up, feeling grounded and yet extended. Feeling your heart center opening, your shoulders pulled back. And on the out breath, you come down. And on the in breath, you come up. Staying with your own body. What we can do as we get older is focus on our radiance to play a role in a traditional community would always be that older people hold the wisdom and they're deeply honored and this is not true in our society we are living in much more of a utilitarian world where cars become obsolete Within us, we hold the wisdom. We are the wisdom keepers for the next generations. And as we feel this coming down into the ancient wisdom of being, may we live on through the generations to come. May they remember our smile and our presence. Just a few more deep bows to yourself. And coming back, shaking out the shoulders, doing a few shoulder rolls and change directions. Being very really aware of what's happening in our bodies rather than dissociating from them or numbing out. Staying very still, holding a sense of your presence. And if you're able, come down onto the floor. If not, just stay seated on the chair. And we're going to work the navel point so that we're going to do a few leg lifts. And if you're sit seated, you're going to do it with your hands beside you alternate legs coming up and down, working from here. So don't compensate. If you're lying on the floor, you can either put your hands under your bum just to push your lower, uh, your lower back in so you don't hurt it. You're going to bring one leg up, sweeping up on the in-breath and down on the out-breath, keeping a focus right here at the center point of the navel. This is where the powerhouse of our fire is. Alternate leg lifts. Breathing in as you come up and sweeping down with toes extended as you come down. Breathing in as you come up and I'll put on another music. And just keep going. Keeping this very strong point, the we call the Manipura. All martial arts focus in on the strength. It's the seat of the ego willpower to get up in the morning, to get going, to do, it's our action base. Now if you're able, you can lift both legs up at once, and a double leg lift, otherwise just keep going, single leg lift.
now bringing your knees into your chest. Give yourself a hug. If you're lying on the floor and you can lift your head up, do. So you're kind of curled right up, quite a strong position of holding yourself. If you're sitting on the floor, I mean, if you're sitting on a chair, just uh, stay curled up in any way you can and begin a breath of fire. So a breath of fire is just pumping the navel point on the out breath as if you're blowing your nose. So activating very much that Manipura, that energy points. You're blowing your nose out like you're sneezing. If it's too hard on your neck, just put your head down. Bringing a lot of energy into right into the center of the body. We call it core energy. Take a breath in. Release the posture and relax down on your back. Or if you're sitting, just relax your body, allowing the work we're doing to integrate. Long, deep breaths, surrendering to the earth, trusting the journeys that we've been on and the wisdom that we've gained on the journey. sense of intuition, not from the thinking brain. yourself by twitching hands, toes, circling, waking every part of your body back up, twisting this way and that way, gently rocking yourself back up into a seated posture with our legs out in front. Flex your legs, feet a bit. And we're going to continue the hummy hum brum hum. And we're going to sing along with it. But we're going to reach down in a triangle form. It's all around triangles and angles. Your legs are straight, all flat on the floor. Your back is as straight as you can make it. And your arms form the other part of the triangle. So see how far your hips will let you, the flexors, to move. If you can reach down to your toes, do. Otherwise, just hold a place where you can keep your back straight. Your chin is gently tucked down. Your shoulders are dropped. Feeling into this and listening still to the hummy hum, brum hum. And when you're ready, just hum along with it. Mm -hmm. 
flexing your feet. Eyes looking up to the brow point. Feeling the vibration going through your body. Begin to move your body up and down dynamically. I'll continue with the music. Keeping your legs on as flat as you or straight as you can. your back as straight as you can um, pulling the root lock feel that triangle perfect ratio mathematically of the universe and release coming into sitting posture for the last few minutes we're going to continue with hummy hum brahm hum recognizing how our body is, how we might be able to sit a bit longer without our thoughts invading us. We can sit in with Gyan Mudra, just on that, ha happily on our knees, back straight, chin down, face relaxed, feeling the stability of this posture. And continue experimenting with the sound of hummy hum, brahm hum, the infinite sound of creation. <laughs> Feeling it on your, the humming, like a hummingbird on your lips, vibrating through your body. As it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Vibrationary force. We are vast, and yet we are also the dust. We are all these things. Mm-hmm. 
30 seconds. Feeling into your body, drawing back all the atoms that get displaced and dispersed back into our presence. That we are both just a piece of sand on the ocean floor. We're part of the vastness of creation. We are both. Bring your hands into prayer mudra. We close with three satnams. Truth is my identity. This much bigger person than I think I am is who I really am. And as we do it, we're going to do it in the wave. So it's sa, a, a. So we're going up each chakra, sa, a, a up to the navel, to the heart, to the throat, third eye, and then on the nam, we feel it like a fountain coming over. We're imagining that. So let's breathe in to begin. <clears throat> so nam. So Take a breath in, hold the breath, and send love and peace out from our hearts to our closest circle, and then let it radiate beyond and beyond and beyond and breathe out. Take a breath in. And take a bow to that satnam, satnam.